Hey folks, it's Ray, DCRainMaker.com here, and I figured it'd be a quick little video, nothing long, nothing crazy, nothing like that, nothing technical, that too much anyways, on riding a cargo bike in the snow uh, with two peanuts inside. We also did sledding in the snow, by the way, yesterday. Um, put the sled behind it, tie it with a rope, with a swing, just we held left behind and off we went. Uh, it's one of those things, I think people look at this and think it's super unstable, but it's not, it's actually really, really heavy. Uh, you do have a smaller front wheel, so it's not like great for sharp turns in the snow, but you're not really doing a lot of those. Uh, and then in the back here, it's a much bigger wheel. If you look at these two wheels, uh, I mean, this is a pretty beefy wheel compared to, you know, most bicycle wheels. Uh, not quite like a fire bike or anything like that, um, but it worked out just fine for me. Also, from a bike standpoint, we actually went through two of these batteries here. I went through the first battery uh, at the midpoint, and I'm going to have this one basically finish it up once I get right back home. So it'll be just pretty much spot on. There's different modes you can see up here. So I can change the modes over here, uh, Turbo Sport, Tour, Eco. And usually I keep it on like Eco or Tour. I have it on Turbo right now because I'm trying to get home a little faster. Uh, but most of this day was on Eco or Tour. And in the summer, I can go like I don't know, 50 or so, 60 kilometers on tourish mode with all the stuff that's in there. Uh, but in the winter here, I'm getting like half that battery life. So I actually took a second battery with me uh, just because it was getting to get pretty iffy and it worked out perfect. I went through the first battery uh, at the midpoint and I'm gonna have this one basically finish it up once I get right back home. So it'll be just pretty much spot on. I've been riding now for, I don't know, looks like four hours or so, four hours and 17 minutes we've been out here uh, across the countryside making stops, having hot chocolate, having all this fun stuff, and no problem. I would say a couple things that are notable about Amsterdam. Number one is they actually plow the bike lanes in the city itself. It's kind of crazy, but we saw one of the snow plows coming through earlier, uh, plowing the bike lanes, ignoring the car areas, uh, just focusing on the bike lanes itself. And then, you know, the rest of the bike lane infrastructure is pretty clean. In fact, I would say, in general, the worst riding conditions I would have had would be kind of crossing stuff like this, um, which is sort of like the edge of the roadway and whatnot, uh, crossing between two intersections. Uh, but I mean, that wasn't anything. With the, the weight of something like this being many hundreds of pounds, you just sort of blow through it for the most part. As long as you didn't turn at the last second, uh, there's no real issues there at all. And I mean, cars are few and far between out here right now. Here comes one right there. Uh, but it's pretty rare. Like there's no real issues with car traffic in the Netherlands and bikes for the most part, because almost every single driver is a cyclist. Like it's something that is just fundamentally part of who you are as a person. Uh, so you don't have to really think about it. And in terms of roadways, as far as it goes, by far, bike paths were the easiest thing to ride on. Um, not because they were all clean. Some of them weren't out in the countryside. They were just as is, uh, but because there wasn't like car stuff on them. So it made it a little bit easier. Uh, but even this road is, is really no big deal at all. Now, this is a tech channel. So let's talk some tech for a second. I had here, this is a GoPro Hero 9 uh, with a GoPro lens mod on it, uh, the Max lens mod. That's become like my daily driver for most things. Uh, I also had on top there before I ran out of battery, a uh, GoPro Max camera as well to get some different angles and whatnot. So that was there too. Now, in terms of drone tech with me, I had a DJI Mavic Air 2. Uh, I brought the Mavic Air 2 instead of the Skydio, even though I was doing some tracking shots, merely because I didn't really want to fiddle with stuff. Like the Skydio is awesome when I have all the time in the world to set up the shot and all the time to get like ready to roll. Not so much setting the shot up, but getting the tracking where I want it and all that kind of stuff. With these two nutballs in there, there isn't like the time to do all that. As you can hear that in the background, there isn't a time to do all that before they might lose the plot, so to speak. Uh, whereas the Mavic Air 2, I can throw it in the air, I can get the shots I want to. I did some active tracking stuff that worked mostly okay. Uh, some of it wasn't great because it was starting to snow a little bit then, so that obviously impacts the active tracking. But overall, like you can see these shots right now, they're just fine, both static and active track. Uh, that worked great. And then otherwise, I had my phone and I had a whole ton of watches, uh, a lot of watches. But that's another story for another day. Uh, I think is I like like the simplicity of this all. And I take the different photos that I have from my phone and the uh, two GoPros and the drone, I just stick it up on Instagram and I decided to make this video at the end because I thought you might find it interesting. It's just, it's as simple as that. Other things that are critical for this journey is just a speaker. Obviously your mask got masks everywhere, but we have a Bluetooth speaker stuck there so they can listen to music uh, in the background and the whole thing just across the countryside. Uh, and we have lots of food in there. I also have a gigantic, um, Jackery, uh, what do you call it, uh, battery unit, like you charge like laptops on it. I stuck them in there because I wanted to charge the drones before I got going and I forgot. Uh, and so I just threw all the 
junk in there and said just charge as we went along. Uh, but lots of snacks, lots of drinks, uh, lots of blankets. That's just lots of stuff. So with that, I got these two kids home for dinner. We'll finish up our, our ride home. Uh, and then tomorrow they finally start school again after many months off of school. Uh, so the snow got them one extra day um, away from school. But uh, now it is time to get back to school and my sanity back a bit as well. With that, have a good one. If you found this video interesting or useful or funny or entertaining or whatever the case may be, simply whack that like button at the bottom there. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.